Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to 5 Minute Crypto, the channel where we cover the most important crypto news in just 5 minutes, back again with another breaking news episode. The Bitcoin options market is exploding in volume as it sees its biggest Bitcoin options trade. SKU and Deribit both reported that the largest Bitcoin options trade has been filled. It indicates that the trader who placed the trade expects volatility to increase in the short term. Researchers at Screw wrote, 10,000 January 21st calls were filled, stating, 10K January 21st calls just crossed look like a 1 times 4 20 or 32K uh, slash 36K call ratio, largest listed trade ever on Bitcoin options. I don't like this style. I don't know whoever thought writing it like this would be smart, um, but all right. The trade itself is not a bullish or a bearish trade in the near term. Rather, it is a neutral bet on volatility in the foreseeable future. But it is the biggest thing yet, and some people are really excited about that. I personally do not care, so that is that. Report, Bitcoin is set for biggest breakout in 2020 to new all-time high. <laughs> We've seen this so many times, but yes, a lot of people were reading on to this one. Coinmetrics predicts Bitcoin's price break to a new all-time high as Bitcoin records high correlation with gold. Bitcoin's halving reduces Bitcoin issuance and prepares the crypto to take off. I'm kind of wondering why people are putting halving into, into the equation right now when the halving itself was a, a little while ago already. And gold, I mean... Gold, I think, has a lot to do in this case here with the big stock crash that has kind of occurred and that some are predicting that's going to be happening. Like, for example, Bitcoin suddenly slides 4% as Bank of America predicts a 20% stock market crash. The price of Bitcoin abruptly dropped 4% from the day's peak as the uncertainty in the stock market intensified. The price of Bitcoin abruptly dropped 4% from the day's peak on October 30th as the uncertainty in the stock market intensified. With five days left to the U.S. presidential election, Bank of America suggested a 20% drop is possible. So, yeah, crypto might have reacted to that. On the same note, it could be that gold and stuff are looking pretty damn juicy and that Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto are going to be following along with that. Uh, however, again, as you can see, the correlation is a little bit of a mess right now. I would say it's 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 very strange in exactly what way it's all going to be flowing. Um, however, yeah, I, I can't kind of you know, see how some would say there is a good correlation between Bitcoin and gold. So at this point, you know, theoretically speaking, not really there. Maybe eventually we're going to get to some 0 0.7 levels. And yeah, we can really call one. Apple has $191 billion in cash. Will it flip to Bitcoin? The crypto community speculates on possible investment in Bitcoin from Apple or Microsoft to protect their cash profits. MicroStrategy operates a full Bitcoin node, BTC, as announced by CEO Michael Saylor. Now, this last part, not really interesting. The first part, very, very interesting. It's something we got to look and consider, you know, quite, quite a lot more. Because as of this point, they've got so much money in cash and... If the U.S. dollar becomes kind of volatile, like what you see uh, during and surrounding elections, yeah, they might want to go for something to protect that. Might Maybe a, a reserve like gold, but maybe something like crypto as well, since more and more companies are getting into it. It, it could be a bet for them, so it could be something. Binance CEO hints at delisting low-performing tokens. Yeah, that's something, again, that's rather interesting. You know, earlier this week, the famous crypto trader and analyst Rookie XBT which again stands for X and then Bitcoin, kind of. That's the way I see it. X is like no necessary, no, not, not really a country code or anything like that. And then Bitcoin. Suggested on Twitter that Binance delists all coins on its platform that aren't trading as much as 10 Bitcoin or about $130,000 every day. Zhao engaged with the Twitter thread, explaining that the company just might act on the suggestion. Because yeah, it is a pretty good idea. It is. I mean, honestly, it just, it just clutter. And the, the contrary is like, when do you consider a coin dead? Like, for example, if the coin has not been trading well for like a week, is it then low performing? Maybe it's just had some 
you know, some some stuff as to why it's, maybe it's not been promoting at all for the last weeks because they, you know, I don't know, for some reason. Or what if it just got listed and it can't hit 10 BTC yet? You guys get what I mean? You know, when when where's where is that list? How does that work? Does it only apply if you've been on there for a month or so? Or is it instantly? If you don't get the money, you know, you can't get there. Or how does that how is that going to work? I don't I don't really get that. Crypto markets shed ten billion dollars in hours as Bitcoin loses four hundred dollars. Again, that's a little bit of a counter statement since it's like, well, Bitcoin lost four hundred dollars and so the the crypto market shed ten bill. I mean, it's not like okay, Bitcoin lost some money, so. You know, uh, or yeah, I mean, it's a little of a of a, of a strange sentence, but um, oh no, maybe the sentence works actually. Maybe it's just my reading that sucks. Could kind of be. What they said here at the bottom is the ECB stimulus announcement and U.S. jobless claims at a seven-month low briefly pumped Bitcoin, but the asset and the entire alcohol market has retraced rather vigorously. I think that's still because of all that's coming out right now with the stock market and it crashing, and of course, as we're getting closer and closer to an election. People are getting more scared of, of where to put their money and stuff. So maybe that's also taken a little bit of a toll. Maybe people want to be more safe and stay in their home currency. I don't really know. But that was it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And I would definitely see you guys again in another crypto video.